Today we're tying a uh, modified version of a Goddard caddis. Um, this is in the Mother's Day caddis coloration. Uh, it's been working really well for me on a hatch that traditionally is very hard to, to match. So kind of between this one and my P90X caddis, I've had good luck when the fish are actually eating them, which isn't all the time. I've got a number 14 2488. I've got some 6 aught black uni thread. I'm going to start behind the eye, lay a thread base down. Why do you like the 2488 pair? Uh, the reason why I like it, the, the, the biggest reason is, is that I have about a size 16 hook shank here, but I've got a much wider gap, so I find that if the fish eats it, I tend to get better hookups than with a real uh, you know, narrow gap dry fly hook. Uh, but again, it could be tied on a 100 or whatever the case may be. I've got some uh, ice dub in the caddis green color. I'm going to put a little tiny egg sac on here. This is going to look like a gravid uh, Mother's Day caddis. I don't know that it makes a huge difference, but it's something that, that looks good to me. Uh, and definitely lights the fly up just a little bit. So I've got just a little egg, egg case on there. I've got some dyed done deer hair, just kind of an all-purpose deer hair. You could use just about whatever, but I think the, the dyed done aspect of it is critical. It's it's a really nice gray color that matches the uh, the caddis really well. So I'm picking out the under fur. Use a comb. You use your fingers, either or. So I've taken a you know probably about a half of a number two pencil uh, size gather. I'm gonna go make a full lap around the hair and draw it tight. You can see it flares out there. That's what we're looking for. This is part of the reason why I like this pattern is because of the flotation aspect of it. I can fish it almost all day and not even have to put floating on the thing because of the way it's, it's built. So I've got the first nice gather of hair. I kind of push the rest of the remainder. I just locked up the rest of that hair that was uh, in that gather. And I'll just take my thread and move it just slightly forward of the, where the hair is spun and I'll just do it again. So I can get kind of more life out of the out of the same bit of hair, and just kind of move all that stuff out of the way. And you're using six out thread. You're just you know six out thread. Yeah. Nothing nothing super fancy. We don't have to compress it a huge amount. It's not like tying a bass popper or something like that, where we've got a big hook to wrap it around and and lots of hair for compression. You know, we're just using a little bit. So, um, so all, this is kind of the critical stage here. We need to adjust our gather in order to uh, know where we are as far as putting hair on there. So like the last one, like I said, is about a half a number two. On this one, I'll probably do about a quarter of a number two pencil. Um, again, I don't have much room in there. I still have to put a hackle in there as well. So just got to kind of adjust it. Yeah, it looks like we have room for one more. Just pull that down nice and tight. Kind of flares out, spins around just a bit. But not spinning as much as some bass. I mean, you're not you're not really working on getting it to really go. No, you don't. I mean, again, we don't need to. We're on such a small surface here that it's it's not as critical. So here is the next thing. Out of this little fuzz ball, uh, we're going to clip a caddis shaped design. So um, for those of you who don't know, you know much about caddis. Caddis kind of look like a tent shaped. Uh, bug as opposed to being you know real flat or like a sailboat like a mayfly. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of get our angle right. So we're just going to get the last couple snips here, really tape, taper the fly down so we get that tent shaped, tent shaped body. We're going to tie in a grizzly hackle up here at the front. We don't need a huge amount of hackle up here because we're not relying on it for flotation. Uh, what we are doing though is making it so that the fly balances. So I'll put about two or three wraps of hackle on there. And by balance, I mean so that when this fly is floating, the wing, uh, the arms are kind of stretched out to the side and, and making it so that it sits flush in the water. The little abdomen dips down with the egg sac. So we'll just whip finish here. The final step in this is to kind of flip your fly over, take your scissors, and just kind of notch that hackle out, and that way it rides extra flush. 
So there you have a finished Goddard styled, uh, improved Goddard style uh, Mother's Day caddis. Uh, one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.